Welcome to GameSiders, my fellow Koopalings. I'm Yoshi on the go, and this is the start of a brief new series where we rate all of the levels in Earthfall. And we'll start doing that by going through a basic walkthrough of the level. I give some thoughts, maybe some constructive criticisms, and I'll give it a rating. Uh, and my ratings, I don't really like giving ratings, so in this case, I'll just give it like thumbs up or th sideways thumbs or thumbs down. Maybe a two thumbs up if I really like it. But let's get started. I remember the name of this town. I don't know. Doesn't really matter anymore. To start, Supply Run. Our very first map and our introduction to the world of Earthfall. Unless you play out of order. If you're one of those rebellious souls, then that's fine. The level starts with our team coming up on some abandoned police cars on the outskirts of town. Certainly a very ominous sign. Immediately to the right, there's this garage that introduces us to some of the weapons, like the machete, sometimes a fire axe. And then there's always going to be some weapons, health items, and these. What? What is this? A barricade over here. Oh, wow, a barricade. We can fortify our own structures. That's pretty neat. And, and oh, look at that. It opens up just for the humans. That's really cool. I, I like what this does in terms of gameplay because it teaches us how to use some of these items before we get into some serious combat later down this road right here. There's the Zephyr! Zephyr's gone! I was looking forward to teaching my kids basketball one day. It's like nothing even happened. Towards the middle of the street we are blocked by this barricade and are prompted to enter the house in the, the left. Yeah. which provides us with our first Shotgun! big weapon stash. Out the back door, hopping through some yards, and we come across this garage, which is another important teaching event in the game. Wow, that's a lot of weapons. Wow, what are all these barricades for? Hmm. I wonder what this button will do. <laughs> this triggers our first swarm event, which is important to learn about cooperation, communication, and sticking together. Also, there's a car conveniently placed right in front of the fire that's set to go off if you shoot it. Some of the uh, cars still have power, and if you shoot them, their alarms will go off, causing a swarm to come. Immediately outside this, you can see this giant van with a ladder, and just a pro tip, anytime you see a ladder, climb it. It'll often reward you with hidden weapons and health items. Continuing down the street, we reach our destination, only to find out that it's not our final destination. Oh, and by the way, anytime you see this Earthfall logo, definitely check it out because that means there's a weapons or health supply cache close by. Going around to the back, we see a boarded up fence and these highlighted items. If you didn't pick up the melee weapon in the garage earlier, then you'll be introduced to the fire axe, which uh, in this case, melee weapons are required to hack down this fence in order to proceed. As you can see, blowing it up won't do anything. Shooting it won't do anything. You have to use a melee weapon. I really like this gameplay mechanic because it introduces us to melee weapons. Before you jump out into the great wilderness beyond, though, go check out the scaffolding in the back. There's always a gun and some health packs. Every single time I cross this fence, I just love coming into this backwoods area. It reminds me a lot of my backyard growing up in Washington State, my cute little town of Sammamish. And for some reason, a beast spawned. Uh, usually a boss does not spawn here, so I'm a little surprised that one did. Uh, that just shows you some of the dynamic gameplay potential of when these guys might spawn. A quick walk through a muddy backyard trail brings you to this beautiful open swampy area and back to the main road which quickly leads to Zippy's storage and a van filled with a ton of supplies. Hmm, I wonder what this could mean. <laughs> Traveling between these two cars always spawns a boss, so be prepared for that. Once defeated, go up the road and to the left down this muddy trail and to the left again to open a gate to get inside the Zippy Storage facility. This will trigger another swarm. All right, we finally made it inside, and one quick pro tip, head to the far left corner to this one storage container for a ton of awesome supplies. There's almost always a chain gun, a flamethrower, health items, grenades, more ammunition, some barricades. Yeah, it's a good place to hit up before finishing the level. 
Heading to the middle of the facility will activate the power or something for this uh, supply cache and this will trigger the final swarm as well as a couple of boss enemies. So it's best to prepare, uh, put up some gates and barricades and, and fully reload and fully heal before you do this. Oh sure, Jonas killed the beast. I mean, I only had a chain gun and Jonas killed the beast. Yeah, whatever. Once you've survived long enough, the doors will open and you can run inside to finish the level. So what do I think about this? Well, first let's address a few brief criticisms. Honestly, I just have one, which is this music. There's nothing inherently wrong with the music itself, but I feel like it just doesn't really fit, and it's honestly pretty distracting whenever that does pop up. Another general improvement I like to see in the game as a whole is having checkpoints. These chapters are quite a bit longer than a Left 4 Dead chapter, with the safe houses in between. For these levels, what I'd really like to see is checkpoint right before the final holdout. And in the case of Supply Run, I'd like to see this right before we enter Zippy's facility. Overall though, I would rate Supply Run as thumbs up. Good. It's not just one of my favorite levels in the game, but from a practical gameplay standpoint, it does a fantastic job of introducing new players to the world of Earthfall. This video series was inspired by a similar video series by the channel Wow Such Gaming. So if you like this at all, he makes some really awesome Left 4 Dead content. Thanks for watching.